Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to create the star filter effect in Adobe Photoshop. I just made a video on how to do it for videos in Adobe Premiere Pro so you can check that out. And uh, typically you would need to use an actual lens filter, uh, but I found a way you can actually do this in post editing. So if you guys enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. this effect I think works a lot better on darker images uh, just because what you're required to do will make the image a little bit brighter than it usually is. It'll also look better if there's a lot of white bright light. So on this one like back here is where the effect's gonna happen. I think a lot of cityscape stuff is gonna look better than portraiture stuff but um, I'm gonna just show you and get into it right now. So the first thing you want to do is duplicate your photo so you want to press Control J and now what you want to do is press on levels under adjustments and you want to move this all the way to the right. So basically what you see now, like the brighter areas where it's white is where the effects going to be applied. So where the lights are and stuff like that. Uh, the reason you do this is because the image is going to get bright and you only want them to get bright in the areas where it's realistic. Um, you wouldn't want to get his face bright because that doesn't make sense, right? The, that's not organic. Um, so that's what you're going to do. And so you want to merge these two now. So press control E and you want to duplicate this layer. So you're going to have two of um, the levels layers and you're going to have one of the original. The next thing you want to do is go to filter, blur, motion blur, and you want to set the motion blur uh, at 45 uh, degrees and the distance is up to you. So I'm going to set it at 115 and then we're going to press okay. We're going to select on the other layer and then we're going to do the same thing but the angle is going to be the opposite. So it's going to be negative 45. And now what we're going to do is go to uh, the blend modes and change it to screen. And then we're going to merge these two. And now you can see that this is where the star filter is going to be applied. So you can see them crossing and stuff like that. So if we press screen now, you'll see like the outsides, um, they're glowing. So we can just erase that. We really don't need that part. So I'm just going to erase it where it doesn't make sense. So yeah, right now you, you can kind of see the effect. It's very, very subtle. So you can even just keep duplicating it. So I would actually set it to normal and erase it this way because you actually can see it a little bit better here. So wherever the X's aren't basically, then go back to screen. And you might notice like, oh, it's a little bit too bright here. So you can even just erase it a little. But yeah, that's basically it. That's how you create the effect. Um, it'll look better on some pictures compared to others, but I think it's good. And if it's too bright, you can use color curves and bring it down a little bit. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.